Does China exist in Bible prophecy? Many students of Bible prophecy consider Revelation 16, 12 to 16 to possibly refer to China in the end times. It reads, The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Uh, then demonic uh, spirits that perform signs go out to the kings of uh, the whole world to gather them for battle on the great day of uh, God Almighty. Then they gather the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. So Revelation 16, 12 to 16. This passage uh, predicts a massive climactic conflict known as the Battle of Armageddon. It occurs at the end of the tribulation after the Sixth Bowl Judgment. At that time, the river Euphrates uh, will be dried up, allowing the kings from the east to invade the Near East and march towards Israel. It is the kings from the east identification that many associate with China. The Chinese army or a Chinese-led coalition will take advantage of the removal of a natural barrier of some sort and sweep westward to meet up with forces of the Antichrist. So the, the drying of the Euphrates there, the, the natural barrier. When the end times force from China joins with the armies of the Antichrist, the seventh and final bowl judgment will be poured out. The Lord Jesus will return, the most violent earthquake ever will shake the world, and the forces of the Antichrist and the armies of the East will be destroyed. It's impossible to know for sure if the Eastern Confederacy of the end times will include China. However, it seems likely that China will be involved. Recent years have seen a dramatic rise in China's power and influence, the development of enormous military strength, intimidation of Hong Kong, Tibet, Taiwan, of course Taiwan is in the news, massive military force and strength shown there, um, and the pursuit of global economic dominance, aggressive rhetoric on the world stage, and the persecution of Christian Christians, all of this has been characteristic of China. It's not hard to imagine the kings of the East who one day march into Israel will include China.